Sims, one of the original hoofers, one of the last really of a, a particular generation of tap dancers, and uh, we just wanted to honor his legacy and continue it in the sense that maybe people aren't doing as much tap or as much hoofing, but there's still percussive dance that's happening, hip-hop, go-go, house, and we're showing the connection between all these movement styles. And it is, we're keeping it moving, that's the title of the show. So. Well, one of the best tap dancers of all time. Sam and Sims, rough life, hard times. But O'Kane okay, inspired a whole bunch of people with his ability to interpret life through his feet. This show is Holly's vision of showing uh, black vernacular dance from the original Apollo era through the current era okay. of hip hop um, and back into the 40s. So that's how tappers work. So none of it was scripted. They just felt the music and interpreted that through dance, through their feet, and just percussive sounds they made. You take that and transfer that to hip hop where you have cast that rhyme and they're using this vast lexicon of words that they know to put them in sentences and to be percussive at times, melodic at times, harmonic at times, um, and to convey an idea without having anything pre-written. One of the things I try to do as a director and choreographer is surround myself with amazing people. Because when you have an amazing crew, you pretty much can't go wrong. And also I like to surround myself with people who are multi-talented. So, you know, the MC is also a producer, is also, you know, a freestyler. The dancer who does tap also does African and modern. So it's just all about like how many things can we throw in the pot and just make that stew happen really quickly. I know that there are a lot of young people who just have no idea who Sam Mann or Bojangles or the Nicholas Brothers or any of those tappers are. They don't know anything about the Apollo except maybe what they've seen on Showtime, uh, the Amateur Night. And um, also, a lot of people don't realize the talent that's right here in DC. So yes, I definitely want to highlight Sam Mann Sims and his legacy and his story, but also to really showcase all these incredible internationally known uh, Washington DC artists who are right here in our backyard.